Okay, so we're booting the stuck at the logo for lineage, which is good, but not uh, not good enough, not all the way. So let's see what we got going on here. We're uh, in the recovery, and um, I'm jumping into ADB shell. And one of the things that we need to look at is um, it won't let me pull logs because I, I don't have permission. So what I need to do is make this directory ADB inside the data miscellaneous folder. And then I can uh, exit out of the phone and I'm gonna push my Android key from my computer, which you should have one too if you've ever hooked up to your phone with ADB. And you see you have this ADB key.pub. We're gonna push that ADB key.pub. Key wow, that's tough to say five times fast. But we're gonna we're gonna push that to data uh, misc adb and adb underscore keys. And it didn't take very long, only takes a second. But pushing that there, uh, now we can reboot and uh, and we should be able to now connect to uh, the device. So let's look to see what devices are there now. And of course, I got to share it with my virtual machine. <clears throat> Try this again. There we go. No permissions still. Um, insufficient permissions. What am I forgetting to do? Now we're doing an eng build, so it should enable this by default. But apparently it's not. So um, let me think about this for a second. Okay, so what we should do, uh, I'm back into recovery here. And as you can see, and we're gonna jump into the shell and uh, let's go ahead and mount the system. Oh, not ADB mount, just mount system. And we're going to uh, um, put some things into the, uh, the build.prop to enable um, taking logs. So we see this cat build.prop and we see all these options. Um, and what we're going to do is look to see with this grep command, does it have ADB? And there is none. So let's add some stuff to make ADB work. So if we echo, then we put this parenthesis and then persist.service.adb.enable equals one parenthesis. And we're gonna greater than, greater than, which means add to, but don't, don't erase, just add to the system build.prop. And there we go. And now we've written that line in there and we're gonna write a few more lines here. Uh, let's do uh, um, debug, debuggable. Um, we'll say that's a one. What else can we change here? How about uh, system.usb.config? Um, we're gonna say MTP and ADB. So when we plug it in, we want it to automatically assume it's going to have Android Developer Bridge on. I think that's what ADB stands for. So um, just to double check to make sure I put enough in there. So now we can just reboot it. And let's see if we can pull some logs now. Now, of course, we're going to add these things that I just added to our um, device tree uh, system prop files to make sure it gets written every time uh, until we're done working on this. And so let's see, there's our device that showed up. Notice no permission issue there. So if we do a log cat and we pull it, we're going to T to log one, G 
you need help on pulling logs, my previous video series covers that in, in more detail. A um, lot of issues with crypto right here. We're probably going to have to look at that. That's probably why it can't finish booting. Um, but let's uh, let's pull the log cat. We'll pull a full log cat here. And uh, looks like maybe a few tombstones went by. The phone actually boots up. It starts Android and then it quickly goes back to the boot logo. So um, hopefully I'll be able to show that video as well and we can uh, see what's going on. So we've pulled plenty of logs here and that's gonna give us a good place to, uh, to start. 